Welcome back. We are here on ETH looking at the indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, April 6, 2021. If you like to support our channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see our news videos, and you're welcome to copy our trades over here at ETH or follow our full technical analysis of our trades over at Patreon, where you also can see our course or follow our courses and online trades and so on. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500. And as you can see, we're trading well above the 4,000 level. We're trading at 4,072, and we're getting way ahead of ourselves at this current stage. So at the moment, we are way above the Bollinger Band. And usually when that occurs, we either drop towards the middle of the Bollinger Band or we drop to the very bottom of the Bollinger Band. So at this current stage, this is a very bullish candlestick, but still, we are, it is uh, really risky to buy it at this, uh, at, this, at this point. You can see basically here, very similar where we got outside and then we just dropped significantly to the downside. The same goes for here and so on and so on. Even though we get really close to it, it usually pulls back at this point. So pullback is anticipated at this current stage. We could fall back towards 4,000. We could fall towards the middle which is at 3,950, or we fell all the way down to the bottom, we're at 3,858. Technical indicators are still very bullish, so it's not something that will happen all of a sudden, but uh, uh, this is usually a warning sign for the S&P 500, that when it gets overstretched in the, uh, the top of the bullish band, it basically breaks to the very bottom, and vice versa. So let's look at the Dow, Dow Jones. So Dow Jones, very similar. We're also getting way of header sales. If we have had a pullback here at the end of the session, um, it could basically do a similar pattern here. It has uh, basically uh, occasionally rallied outside of the bullish band before basically breaking down. So it, it hasn't been uh, as reactive to those uh, overstretched condition as the S&P and uh, NASDAQ have, for example. For example, here we're outside three times. Here only once. Here we are basically I think one, two, basically six times before we basically break to towards the middle. But usually when we get this overstretched, it usually means that we'll pull back towards the middle or even the bottom of the bullish band. So at the current stage, RSI is very high. We're also on the edge of being our bot. Otherwise, technical indicators are very bullish. We're trading at 33,500. So um, pullbacks here are uh, is technically expected. Um, but I never basically short the, or short the, uh, the indices. It's basically uh, way, way too risky. The much better tactic here is basically wait for pullbacks in, in order to buy those pullbacks as basically major uh, pullbacks for, for these indices like what we saw back in last year. They basically happen not very often, to be fair honest. And therefore, it's far better strategy just to wait for pullbacks and then to buy those pullbacks. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So NASDAQ also getting way ahead of itself. Um, we have been rallying from basically where we bottom up here, 12,600. And then we have been a constant rally. And at this current stage, it is expected for this to pull back uh, a little bit at least. So we could basically see two three days when this rallies the upside but basically at this current stage the, the more it rallies at this current at this point the bigger the fall so pullbacks at this point towards the 50 at uh, 13,200 or even the middle of the bullish path at 13,000 and that is um, is kind of what uh, is expected at this current stage we could also see a uh, pull like all the way down to where the bottom at the 12,600 but it is very bullish. It is. Uh, it looks like um, this major drop here is basically over, and now we are going to target uh, fourteen thousand. But we will see bumps in the way, and and uh, this is kind of warning sign that we are getting way ahead of ourselves. We are sixty two, so we're not over over bought at this current stage. Technical indicators are very bullish. Even the MACD is in now in positive territory and it does not show signs of any weakness whatsoever. But uh, when we usually get outside, for example, here, it tends to break. So we have been rallying and this is basically a, um, a measure of that rally that basically we've seen. Target here is still 14,000 and probably 15,000 
in the next month and a half or probably two months. So let's look at the German DAX. So also here in German DAX, we're at 15,175. We are also getting way ahead of ourselves. It is expected for this to pull back at least towards the middle of the bullish band or even the very bottom of the bullish band. We are at 79 here in the RSI. It's significantly overbought. So a pullback is expected at any point at this current stage. We can see just when we get outside here, we fell all the way to the bottom also here. So it can get really volatile when it gets overstretched and people start buying uh, basically start selling this but also here we are in uptrend and there's no need no reason to basically fight that uptrend so let's look at the uk 100 so, so here we are basically trading at 6774 technical indicators are all fairly bullish at this current stage we are trading it is still slightly to the upside but um but it is not as bullish as, for example, the DAX or already under um, indices. This takes a long time in order to trade this. And uh, probably the best you can get out of it is basically buying at the very, very, very low. It's at the 50 moving average or the very bottom of the bullish band. Uh, otherwise, the movements here are not major at this current stage. But we'll may probably, if we break below the 20 exponential, then the 50 is right here at 6,646. And the very top is right here at 6,800, where we'll find resistance. So, hope you find this helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing. Hit the like button and the bell button to see our new videos. And you're welcome to follow us here over at Etero or on Patreon. The links are down below. Good luck and thank you very much.